Tässä testaillaan lähetyksen ennen lähetystä, varsinaista lähetystä niin kuin toista peliä. Mut. Meillä näyttää olevan kuva. Hyvä, ei muuta kuin sitten lentämään. Tämä on Wing Commander Darkest Dawn. Ei ehkä suosituin peli, mutta niin, niin, tämä on vanhasta lentosimulaattorista vielä parempi versio. Free Spaceen modattuna löytyy Knossos nimisen ohjelman kautta. Siitä löytyy kaikki Free Space 2 modit. Ää, vaatii edelleen niin Free Spacein, että sen on ostanut. There seems to be a jamming field present in the area, and we haven't been able to contact the naval base. It appears that Fireclaw's raiders were not the only foxes in the hen house. Colonel Walker has assigned our squadron to re-establish communication with Fort Crockett. I'm leading Alpha flight to the starbase. Sound check here, Captain. Sound check here, Captain. Will be my wingmen. We are to proceed directly from the Hermes to Fort Crockett and Nav One, and rendezvous with their defense forces. Once on station, we will ascertain the situation and report back to the Hermes. Let's get to it. No, neljä kuuta vuotta ennen sota menossa tällä hetkellä. Okei. Mitä tyyppi alusta varuussa se maatuu? Alpha, you are cleared for takeoff. Proceed to next waypoint. Okay, next. Function function on the map. Next, next one is the captain and the last line of the ship. I'm only a seaman at this time. And the wing commander was a very old triple A series. Your intrusion has been reported to the local convent authorities. Leave our airspace or face the consequences. Tää kaikki lähti tonne kankin puu. Taste that force. Rocket, this is Major Boss, 811th Fighter Squadron. We are here to assist. Thank God you're here, Navy. Vähän huono taktiikka tuo törmäilö. Tänään mm -hmm. on ihan tosissaan tulossa nyt päälle sitten. Niin hauskaa. Raskaampia vaan ne lähettää näköjään aina ensiksi noita kevyt hävittäjiä, niin meidän kimppu. Tässä oli melko, melko se ekstriimi toi tutoriaali.
noita turrettimiinoja, jotka ampuu. On täällä superferrettejäkin. Superferrettejä tuli Wing Commander 2. itse asiassa lennettyä. Well, the Zartov seems much too important to waste on such a limited raid. Keep us advised, Major. Stay on station. So, I tässä vaiheessa me hirveä hyvin ihmisten kannalta, että. We're picking up Pakton bombers with escorts. Do something about them. Bunkers. Damn, I see them. Jälkipolttimella vaan pommareiden. Joo, saat, saattu alukset ei kiinnosta mua. No, no kantaa ydintorpeidoita. Siellä on pommareita lisää. Onneksi tuossa oli tuo ilmoitus, muuten en olisi tajunnut. Ja muut on taistelussa, mun on otettava nää hengiltä. Omat on hoitamassa ton pommarin. Siinä on vaan yksi siipimies tota. Jo kaksi pommaria. Vähän ka kauas oli ne harhautunut. Onneksi on siipimiehet oli tuossa lähellä. Joo, tänään 12 tosiaan masefektiä. Testaine. Oh. Lisää pommot, pommot ja...
Onko mulla on noita harhauttumia mukana? En oo ihan varma kyllä. Tää on siis täysin fani tuotettu peli. Ihan, ihan tiedoksi vaan, että... Mutta on hyvin, hyvin samanlainen kuin vanhat, vanhat vinkometerit. Tää niinku 50 tehtävää jopa tässä Darkest Dawnissa. Why did you disengage autopilot? I'm getting some strange readings on the edge of my scope on the far side of Fort Crockett, sir. Ja mulla on vaan yks ohi. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting it as well. Targeting scanner's not able to get a clear identification yet. Hermes pilots! Tällä hetkellä ei todellakaan mene hyvin. No, ensimmäistä osun. Se tuhoutu. Tenfold. 
squadron. Engage autopilot back to the Hermes. We lost this battle. Proceed. Net, net, net. We'll go there. Jo nähän on päässyt jo maapallokin pommittamaan tässä vaiheessa nää killrathit, mitkä on kissa humanoidia. Need clearance, TCS Hermes. My sympathies, bloodhounds. What a horrible thing to have to stand by and watch. We'll get those bastards, just wait. You are clear to land. Bloodhounds, there was nothing we could have done for Fort Crockett. Even if we did take down the missiles, their fighters would have either jumped us or their warships would have closed in for a gun bombardment. Either way, we would have thrown our lives away for nothing. Any way you look at it, we were had. The Raider force we chased out of the system before was only a scout unit, and they diverted our attention long enough for the other Kilrathi task force to make their move. Due to the Kilrathi's commitment of two carriers and the importance of defending Vega, we've sent Torgo HQ a request for reinforcements. If HQ grants our request, we will be able to mount a counterattack. Until then, try to push Fort Crockett out of your minds. If we don't get our heads out of our asses, we'll lose a lot more in the next few days. Dismissed. Good enough. Hmm. Complete scan of the Kilrathi fleet. We've identified two heavy carriers, five cruisers, eight destroyers, four corvettes, and four troop transports. We can assume this is an invasion force, hmm. and complete control of the Vega system is their goal. Huh. With the loss of Fort Crockett, we can also assume the Kilrathi's next plans are to directly attack the main human city on Vega Prime. But the Kilrathi task force hasn't set a direct course to Vega Prime yet. And Intel has ascertained why. They don't yet have enough troops to take the planet. The Hell's Archers recorded the jump transits of another convoy of trooper transports into the system. The convoy is escorted by a unit of heavy fighters and is only hours from rendezvousing with the Kilrathi fleet. Even though we haven't received any response from HQ about reinforcements, we will commence a preemptive raid on the convoy before they hook up with their carriers. If yeah, we can wipe out this convoy, we can seriously hinder the Kilrathi's ability to take Vega Prime outright. The Bloodhounds and the Mudsharks will be working together for this mission. Phalanx will be the leader of Alpha Flight and will be in command of this strike. You are to engage any fighter escort while the Thunderbolts and Bravo, led by Psychopath, will attack the convoy. Dismissed. It
Proceed to next waypoint. Dawn, get back here! Don't worry, sir. I got it. Dawn, listen to your ringleader. Look at that part. Oh no, Dawn's down! Fly like the eight oh. Get your head out of your ass. You and stupid people know you don't fight multiple tanks head on in a hellcat. Saattoi tehtäväni. Laitetaan tosta kärjestä sitten tuhoamaan niitä.
vuoto. Rahti aluksia. Toista sen ymmärtää, että minkä takia ihmiset on niin tässä sodan vaiheessa niin verenhimoisia kuin Maapallolle on hyökätty ja miljoonia kuolleita ja täysin totaalista. Näillä on siellä, mikä kestää hetki aikaa, kun tää tuho. Testosteroni, myrkytys. Damn. Disregard. Contacts our confederation. Hey, isn't that the Bradshaw, the flagship of the Seventh Fleet? The one and only. At your service. I take it the Kilrathi attempted to set up a picket force here? Attempted would be the key word, flyboy. We'll rendezvous with your carrier in a bit. We've got this area covered. You're free to go home, boys. Proceed to next waypoint. Mm. Okei, tuonne lentotuki alus. Mission complete. No 
place like home. Repeat that again, Dorothy. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna... There. Need clearance, TCS Hermes. Welcome back, Sandman. Always good to see another carrier, but you are absolutely correct. There's no place like the Hermes. You are clear to land. Congratulations, gentlemen. You may have single-handedly warded off a full-scale planetary invasion. Thanks to you, 5,000 Kilrathi troops can cross making Vega Prime their own personal litter box off their list of things to do before they die. Yep. Now that we have some support, we have a chance to turn this entire cat invasion plan on its ear. Sandman, what happened to Don was not your fault, it was hers. She disobeyed your orders and she paid the price. Keep this in mind for the future. As a wing leader, you have authority over your charges. But once you fly subordinate to someone else, you obey his orders to the letter. Don't get too comfortable. With the Bradshaw now in the system, expect big things to take place quickly. Dismissed. Acknowledging our request for reinforcements, 7th Fleet Command authorized the deployment of the Bradshaw Battle Group to the Vega system under the command of Admiral Jackson. We now have an equivalent force to challenge the Kilrathi's two heavy carriers. I'm sorry to report that our downing of those troop ships was not enough to discourage the cats from this invasion. Recon fighters from the Bradshaw report the Kilrathi fleet heading at flank speed toward Vega Prime with the remaining troop transports in tow. The Hermes and the Bradshaw will be launching an alpha strike within the hour. If we can attack them before they are ready, maybe it'll force them to deploy their dropships early and keep the bulk of their forces for fleet protection. The killer will be leading the majority of our squadron under Colonel Walker in the upcoming strike. Viper, Grey Wolf, Sandman, and I will be working with the Bradshaw's Valkyrie unit. They are an elite unit, boasting one of the highest kill ratios in the fleet. We will rendezvous with them at Nav 1. From there, we will hide in our polar orbit above Vega Prime, far away from the main battle. Our job is to intercept any dropships the Kilrathi try to land. We're going to finish what we started with those <laughs> troop ships. Let's show those cats we won't tolerate one hairy paw in our soil. Dismissed. You are cleared for launch. The Valkyrie Squadron is waiting for you at Nav 1. If you don't like classical music, I hope you brought your earplugs. Yeah. What does that mean? Just wait and see. Proceed to next waypoint. Bloodhounds, this is Lieutenant Colonel Wagner. We're looking forward to working with you. Wagneri. Same here, Colonel. Let's see how good you guys really are. Is that a challenge, Major? Maybe. Well, who knew the Major knew how to flirt? Grey Wolf, maintain radio silence. All units, looks like the cats are taking the bait. They're launching missiles and committing dropships while keeping most of their forces for defense. Colonel Wagner, I've plotted the optimal intercept point for the missiles. Proceed transmitting coordinates. Point. Ohjuksia säästä. Hei.
Kari kunnankaluja. Tykkeillä pitää hoitaa. Onpas pienekin hitboxi noissa. Mä nyt ne kiinnittää. En saanut tuhottua kaikkia. Ja mulla ei ohjuksia nyt. Ja nyt te vastaatte tässä. Haa. Colonel Wagner, looks 
like we finally caught up with them. We've got drop chips and fighter escort, 12 o'clock high. Time for the final showdown. Major Fanicky, is the music ready? Yes, ma'am. It's good to go. Music? We got the idea from an old hall of it. We played this certain music track over the Kill Rathy's radio frequency when we attacked. Ah, <laughs> likes to kill Rathy out. We love it. Jesus. And I thought our squadron had issues. They give the elite squadrons a bit more leeway. They'll tolerate it as long as we keep breaking in the kills. All units, combat spread. Play the music. I can't freaking believe this. All units, break and attack. Nää on jää taas jäänyt leikkiin, niin tuolla on yksinkö tää pitää tää sota voittaa ilmeisesti. Saat, saatto hävittäjien kanssa jäi temppuudemaan. Testinä tota noin, niin, vaan yksi ohjus pääsi vaan läpi. Mulla meni huonommin nyt. Tuo on kohta 
Men of Somali. Oops. Radio hiljaisuus ei oikein näille juttu. Polttoaine taitaa olla lopussa kyllä. Jos sääli, että mä saanut niitä kaikkia ohjuksia tuottaa. Meni huonoiten. Ensimmäinen kerran meni muuten parhaiten. Sen jälkeen vaan niinku huonommin ja huonommin. Need clearance, TCS Hermes. Tough luck out there, Bloodhounds. But cheer up. Vega Prime Ground and Space Defenses took out the remaining missiles. The planet is safe. How was it working with the Valkyrie Squadron? Aika syvältä. Interesting. I'll bet. You have clearance to land. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear every one of you forgot how to fly out there today. Sandman, you are all over the place. I had trouble keeping track of you. Grey Wolf, you're a fan of antiquated references. Does Ken hit the broadside of a barn mean anything to you? I don't even want to start on you, Viper. Damn! Our sloppiness was all the more apparent fighting side by side with the Valkyries today. They may be eccentric and a little out there, but they were getting the job done. You weren't. You guys can't even destroy some goddamn missiles. They travel in a straight line. They don't maneuver. They don't even shoot back. How can I trust you to take down a Karathi fighter after your performance today? I have another mission briefing to its end. Hopefully, Intel has figured out this peculiar Karathi withdrawal, and Colonel Walker assigns us a job in the second strike, where we can atone for our performances thus far today. Report back here in 30 mics. Hear me CFB on this. Your asses better be back in line when I return. Dismissed. Comment there, can't you get? We now know why the Kilrathi withdrew so fast. Two more Kilrathi carriers have joined the party, and the combined fleet is regrouped and is charging in towards our own forces. Sorry, pilots. Outnumbered two to one, we cannot stand up to that kind of firepower. Confed HQ has ordered us to abandon the system and retreat. Apparently in the brass's mind, the Bradshaw and the Hermes are more important to the war effort than our citizens. Our carriers must live to fight another day. We've already split from the Bradshaw, and both carriers will be withdrawing to two separate jump points. On a brighter note, the Hermes and the Bradshaw are launching a combined alpha strike to knock the Kilrathi fleet off guard, but we don't know how long the cast will play along. The colonists on Vega Prime are evacuating as many people off the planet as they can. 
Captain Moran has ordered us to stay in the system long enough to cover the refugee convoys. Regretfully, there's only enough space on the transports and shuttles to accommodate a tiny fraction of the population. The last convoy leaving Vega is currently en route to the Hell's Kitchen jump point. The Sparrowhawks have been escorting the convoy and have called in for backup. The Bloodhounds are being sent in. Alpha Flight will be Phalanx, Viper, Grey Wolf, and Sandman. I will be Bravo Leader with Cat Killer, Zoro, and Ice Fire. The colonists' lives depend on us being at the top of our game. Don't let them down. Dismissed. Aim in the hooving. Bloodhound Squadron, form on my wing. Proceed to next waypoint. Waypoint. No. Minä etä täytyy suojella.
kyllä vaurioita. Yksi otti vähän osuja. Me ei meinata pärjätä, vaikka meillä on näin paljon monta hävittäjä. Surullista. Nyt harmittaa kokeiltiin kaksi ohjusta. Laukasi juuri hävittäjä sopivasti.
moves, you know, which is a glove. Tuota lentelee täällä ympäriinsä. Ihan kaikkea energiaa pysäytä tuo suojakenttä, että voi vähän vahingoittaa kuitenkin suojan läpi tuota tykkitornia. Kai sitten.
Search and Rescue, okei. Okay. Peli pelastussukkuloita siis, siis pelastavat niinku alasammuttaja lentejä ja muuta tällaista. No jos saa kyllä häiriöksi olla nää kevyt hävitteet. Vähän yhteistyötä tässä vaiheessa. Pensa alkaa olla lopussa. Kunko alkaa olla näin ihan umpikäärry tällä hetkellä, että... Okei, pommittajat hoideltu. Ensimmäinen saatto alus meni hyppypisteestä läpi. Tee papulon pitoneet. Tämä se efekti. Kyllä ylivoiman ylimuovaamasta ollaan taistelemassa, että voi ihan lopussa polttaa. kestänyt lisää polttoaineen lopussa ja ohjuksia ei ole yhtään ja 
Junko on ihan täysin um, umpikierro. Joku mekaanikko joutuu vasaroimaan sen kuntoon. Hermes on 100 prosenttia kunnossa. Victori 40, joo. Se on Victori-tyypin. Oho, saamme katsiinin. Pauksen kisut. Niin se meni jotenkin niin se tarina, että ne Kilratit yli teki rauhansopimuksen, mikä ei ollutkaan sitä rauhansopimus. Ja semmonen tyyppi kuin Amiraali Tolvin ei olisi uskonut sitä, mutta... Mutta kuitenkin sitä jälkeen rauhansopimuksen turvin ne hyökkäs maapallolle, pommitti sen ja tuhosi suurimman osan niin kuin TCNn telakoista. Eli, ja nyt tällä hetkellä odotetaan, että Vinko Madder kolmosen päähenkilö onnistuisi niinku epätoivoisessa hyökkäyksessä Killratien planeettaa vastaan. Eli tää on mennyt ihan... Oliko se Vinko Madder kolmosen huonossa lopussa on se, että ne vaan niinku yksinkertaisesti tuhoaa koko maapaan planeetan, jos ne... Jos niitä vastaan niinku hävitään. Että niin, niin, joo. Sota on mennyt täysin niin kuin totaalitaariseksi. Totaalitaariseksi. The Kilrathi had us outnumbered, but there's no excuse we can make that will make this retreat feel any better. The only good news is that both the Hermes and the Bradshaw escaped. If our carriers had been lost, more colonies would have suffered the same fate as Vega Prime. Due to recent losses, the Brass is shifting squadron assignments around. Lieutenant Markham, you are being transferred from my squadron to the 544th, the Hell's Archers. I assure Lieutenant Colonel Gerhardt that you will serve him as well as you have served me. Get some rest. We are currently en route to Proxima Base to heave to for repairs and to resupply. We will then take this fight back to the Kilrathi. In the name of all the innocents who perished today, we will pay those bastards back tenfold. <laughs> Easy. Nyt ei mene edelleenkään hyvin.